I love to get a picture of what the world is going to look like in the BlockFi sphere in 20 years. And I'm saying this because we're in the stone age. I want you to understand that we're in the stone age of blockchain technology. And to even imagine 20 years from now, it's it's similar to people from 1900 imagining what life in 2000 was like. And ju- just bear with me for a second. Here are some pictures of what people in 1900 thought life in 2000 was going to be like. It looks like 1900, but with fancy robots. That's what they pictured life in 2000 to be like, because there really was just no understanding. There's no way they could actually picture this thing. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Uh, A machine bailing hay and the guy pushing buttons with wires. I mean, that's kind of, that's not, that one's not too bad. But then like other things, a machine I'm looking at here that you put in eggs and outcome chicks <laughs> uh, i guess you know oh oh man this one's hilarious this this thing what what is this thing it's like a trolley but a restaurant a moving restaurant um with a chimney it's like this is what if i were to picture the blockchain not a hundred years from now but 20 years from now what i were to picture it to look like which is we're moving so quickly and the rate of speed with which we are moving is so much faster it's getting faster every day and so i see something like aloha their 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 platform and their currency but mostly their platform and i'm like oh okay so that's what it's going to look like and so what is aloha it's it's something that is going to benefit from mass adoption and if it does then this is going to be just a phenomenally life-changing not life-changing but just making life more convenient type app and cryptocurrency and so we have i i looked at their white white paper it's fantastic it's great it's 30 pages. It is like a PowerPoint presentation type thing, but it's like, I look at this and I see that they've really done their research here. They've really put a lot of work into it. I look at their team and um, let me just get down to that real quick. So they have NFTs and things like that, but the team, um, I, I looked at their link, you know, some, not all of them, but I looked at their LinkedIn profiles and I see some serious people at work here who actually want to make a difference and change the world. I'm not seeing, this isn't a meme coin. You know, this isn't the latest fad that you're going to ride a pump and then dump it anytime soon. We're seeing some actual players here. So market, uh, Martin Regan, I'm based on everything that I've seen with this guy. It, it's like, It seems like he's not just a typical, stereotypical, like I'm going to make a coin and then bounce when things happen. I I think, you know, just based on his um, research, based on the little bit that I've looked at with him, that he knows what he's doing. And it's not just just Martin Regan, but like other people here. I I like that the team is presented on the website. I like that they have a a very well-developed white paper. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see what this looks like. So what is Aloha? Well, surf for free and get paid to make waves. Um, It's a Wi-Fi sharing app and well all right you share your unused data you share your unused data with other people and you get crypto rewards as as a result what else you earn that's what i was just talking about you earn aloha loyalty tokens and then you can trade those things for bitcoin for litecoin for whatever and you could send some you know, spend with some of the world's top brands and online uh retailers and so i mean just things like that you know it's People are building platforms, they're building ecosystems, they're building things that I think for a lot of us, you just, if you just know about Bitcoin, you're just thinking, okay, this is a currency, but no, there's platforms, there's there's life, there's worlds that are being created here, and this is just a new world that you can enter in on early. So... Um, here we go. You create hotspots. So you join and download the app for free. The app has existed for over a year now. I don't exactly know, but I, I have seen reviews on the app for videos that were older than a year. So the app has been around, 
but the currency has existed since late February. And so still very early on with the currency, um, but they've created a currency where you use the app and you get paid to share your unused or spared data with other members of the o Aloha community. Uh, you control when and what data they share systematically. Uh, you enjoy access to the o Aloha affiliated community. And so it's not just sharing Wi-Fi or sharing data. There's just, there's things about this that I'm sure that they're still in the early phases that they're going to, um, to see take place. And so I've seen estimates as far as their revenue is concerned. Now, this does matter. I mean, picture you download the app and you see, let's just say, Omaha, Nebraska. That's probably an unfair place. But you see that there are other people who have the app. There are other Wi-Fi places that you can connect. You can get data and everything. And I would imagine that in Omaha, Nebraska, you wouldn't see a ton of peer-to-peer -peer type stuff happening. But over the years that especially if this thing catches on, that you would see a lot of, let's just say hot pink. You'd see a lot of hot pink on your map, okay? So it, it does depend on mass adoption, but at the same time, creative ways to earn cryptocurrencies, I'm in. You know, just like the Brave browser, this is what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the Brave browser. You use the Brave browser and you get Brave token and Brave is absolutely legitimate. It's established. And same thing with this. You share your Wi-Fi, you share your data, and you get the Aloha token, which let me see the price of that right now. Right now it's at, almost uh, eight cents a coin. And so, you know, um, I've seen estimates of growth with this. And I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that this has the potential easily within the next few years to 100x as far as presence and that will be reflected in the coin price. But even more so than that, I do expect uh, for, for those who hold long term to, you know, you get your coins, you earn them or you buy them, you that you'll see a phenomenal return here. So here's the, the problem that they're trying to solve. 3.5 billion phone users, 76% can't get online. 67% don't use their full monthly data allowance. I, I'm not surprised to, to hear that. So what if instead of just throwing that data away, you got it, you gave it, you um, sold it to somebody who can't get online because either they're tapped out or they're in a spot where just, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're trouble. They're in trouble. Uh, I don't want to say in trouble, but um, here's the solution is that you get on your Aloha app, you get some data from somebody else and you're good. You're good to go. So um, let me read that real quick. Globally, 3.5 billion people carry smartphones. That's crazy. That's almost half the world's population. Everyone has to pay that monthly bill yet on a daily basis. 76% of us find ourselves in a position where we cannot get online or we cannot get online unless we pay. Yes, I am one of those people. I use my, I have one gigabyte of data. I know I'm, I'm old fashioned. I have one gigabyte of data. I use up that in a month and I pay $5 for another gigabyte. What if I would have to pay less? for this. We'll see. So um, here's the solution. Aloha is a service that monetizes unused data, allowing smartphones via the Aloha app, the opportunity to share some of that data by sharing Wi-Fi and data in exchange for payment and loyalty tokens. Aloha is a totally secure, free to access and open for anyone nearby that needs it. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm just, the potential is, is wild with this. So um, anyway, I, I don't want to go through the entire white paper, but there are some tokenomics things. This isn't a deflationary token. It's not a, a meme token, if you will. It's absolutely not a meme token, it, but here total supply, a hundred million tokens. That is a fixed amount. And, um, I, I think that from what I understand, that is the maximum amount. It'll never go beyond 100 million, which I do appreciate in comparison to things like Ethereum, which have, has not set their cap yet, and things like XRP, which just has a ton of coins, 100 million. I mean, you think about that in comparison to Bitcoin, that is nothing at all. And so if there's a set amount of 100 million, um, then the potential, as, especially with any kind of mass adoption with this, the potential for this coin to increase in price is pretty phenomenal.
And so I'm excited about this. I know this isn't a typical coin that I've covered on this channel, but I haven't seen much research done about this. I'm still kind of dipping my toes in the water trying to figure it out. I, I'm after this video, I intend on downloading the app and maybe even buying some of the crypto. We'll see how much crypto I could earn um, just by using the app. We'll see. But um, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about what the future holds and, and even just thinking about what the future holds for blockchain technology, for ecosystems that are created within it. This gives me a picture of what the future looks like. And that future is very exciting and convenient. And I'm pumped. So let me know what you think if you've downloaded the app, if you're a user of this token or of this of the app or you have some of the tokens, what excites you about it? And as always, like and subscribe. And all right, aloha to the moon. We'll see. All right, peace.